Did you know that it is illegal for foreigners to become hairstylists or barbers in Thailand? And did you also know that a king's hair is never allowed to touch the ground? The profession of cutting hair used to be called kalabok in Thailand and has always been reserved only for Thais. In fact, the Ministry of Labor has a list of jobs foreigners are not allowed to do, among which are cutting hair, doing perms, and any beauty salon work. Punishment for breaking the law is a fine of 5,000 to 50,000 baht for the illegal worker who will be deported once the fine is paid. Meanwhile, the owner of the salon or barber shop pays a fine of 10,000 to 100,000 baht. While foreigners are not allowed to cut hair, commoners are not allowed to cut royal hair. Famed politician, scholar, and professor, Mom Rachawong Kukrit Pramod, once wrote in his book that non royals are never to touch a king, especially not their heads and their hair. But kings must still have to get their hair cut somehow, right? But how? To get around this rule, a palace department was set up and individuals of royal blood are selected to become royal barbers. This department was called Grom Pusa Mala, or the Department of Grooming. The process of cutting the king's hair is long and ritualistic. It includes the laying of banana leaves, lion skin, and cloth upon the ground. The royal barber must pay respects three times before performing the royal haircut. So why can't the king's hair be touched? Because traditionally, kings are seen as deities. Their royal bodies were believed to be so hot that none royals would burn up immediately upon touching them. Hence, all the long rituals behind the process of cutting royal hair. None of the king's hair is also allowed to touch the ground, or else the hair would be so hot as to cause fire and drought in the land. So the royal barber must cast royal hair during this process and then later release it into the sea. Information from the National Office of Statistics in 2016 suggests that there are 120,000 barber shops and beauty salons in Thailand, generating a total of 60 billion baht per year. But with the new normal, these numbers may soon change. Having been closed for nearly three months due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Hair salons and barbers have reopened in Thailand, but they have to abide by new normal guidelines, such as maintaining 1.5 meter distance between seats, changing out veils used to cover customers, and so forth. But hey, when you need a haircut, you need a haircut, right? And that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining in. For more news, features, and videos, visit worldwideweb.thisrap.co. From Bangkok, I'm Tara Kamaltanabith, and I'll see you next time. Bye.